I want to demonstrate some of the options for downloading work that you've done in Office 365. Now, I always work in the desktop version of Office, but most universities have subscriptions to Office 365 for students. And although you can download the um, Excel and Office to your laptop, many people don't. They like to work online. The problem is is that when I want to get a spreadsheet from students, they tend to send me file formats that I don't actually want. Because when I see an Excel spreadsheet, I can look at the formulas. For example, I have just a really simple one here. Okay, I just have some numbers and I calculated net present value here. And you probably can't see it too well on the video, but it, it has the formula, NPV, that tells you where the interest rate is, C2, and then the cash flows from uh, C4, I'm sorry, C5 to C7, and then subtracting out the cost, which is in C4. So what happens is, is that when I ask students for the spreadsheet, I want to be able to see the formulas. And what happens is, is that they have choices when they want to send it to me. Okay, there's a choice to share, okay, and a lot of students will share a link to the worksheet, um, but the problem is, is that sometimes I can't open it, it needs a password, so I generally don't like that. I really want them to download the file. Now, one of the mistakes they make, and I did too because I wasn't using this, I was wondering why so many students sent me the wrong type of file, is they use the export function. If you export it, you have the choice of a PDF. So PDF is just, you know, it's a document, but you can't actually look at the formulas. So many of them think the CFV file is fine. It's got the little Excel um, icon here, and I'm going to download that. And let's see what happens. So it's there, and let me open this up here in my desktop version. Uh, it looks the same, but when I hover over the 46319, there's no formula here. And that's what I'm looking for, okay? And I imagine other professors as well. We want to see what you did, how you did the calculation. You know, Excel is more than just something you type tables into. It allows you to do the calculations, and it's also better than doing it by hand and writing out the formula, because I can actually see what you did. When you write out the formula, that may not be what you typed into the calculator or, um, you know, or somewhere else where you're trying to solve it. Students, I get a lot of these problems where the formula is perfect and the answer is, you know, pretty far off. And it's more than just a rounding error. You know, if you got 462.95, okay, maybe a rounding error. But so I don't know what they did. So the way you want to do this here is say file instead of export say save as and you can download a copy of the Excel file to your computer and you can see I downloaded it and when this opens up I'm going to have an exact Excel spreadsheet let's fix that if I hover over this you can see the formula is here, so it saved the formula. So this is a, um, for those of you who don't know how to do this, this is the way to do it. Okay, sometimes a CSV file is just fine. If you just want the numbers, you just have data, then a CSV file is fine. But if you want formulas that you've worked on, you want them in here, then you want to download the Excel workbook. Let me show you how to do this in Google Sheets. So I have more or less the same problem here. And I have the formula here. And again, if you want to download the um, Excel file so that you get the formulas, you want to say File. And you have a choice of Download. And an Excel spreadsheet is one of those choices. So let me open that up here. I hover over this, 
you can see the formulas here. They have put some uh, braces around this, but that doesn't affect um, its performance. And you can edit this. You can, you can I have to enable edi editing, sorry. But I could change the interest rate to, let's say, 12%. And you can see that the number actually changed here. So again, um, if you want to be able to work on it or the person receiving the document wants to be able to see the formulas you put in, you want to make sure you download it as an Excel spreadsheet. So again, once again, if you're in Excel 365, you want to say file and you want to say save as, you can also save it. You don't want to say share. So I hope that's helpful and that um, um, you'll be able to load the, download the files correctly.